Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Ashish Sahajpal, Assistant Professor from University Business School, Punjab University Regional Center, Ludhiana. Today, we are going to discuss about the module Role of Management Information System in Strategic Advantage under the paper Management Information System. After completing this module, the students will be able to understand how the organizations build competitive products and services using information systems. How companies align their information technology strategies to fulfill corporate goals. Understand key features of strategic information systems. Then is to understand the strategies for competitive advantage and factors that determine the strategic position of a firm. The value chain models and type of companies that leverage information system for competitive advantage. Okay, let us first try to understand the information systems and a information system refers to the use technology infrastructure to process data into useful information that fulfills business needs and the complementary networks of hardware and software that the people and organizations use to collect, filter, process, create, and also distribute data. Strategic advantage for an organization refer to particular characteristics or way of doing things that makes an organization more successful than others. Information systems when aligned with the business strategy to fulfill corporate goals to achieve Competitive advantage refers to information system for strategic advantage. The more suitable the competitive advantage, the more difficult it is for competitors to neutralize the advantage. Considering and introspecting on the strategic advantage that Apple INC saw was to develop stickiness around an Apple user. Apple spends top dollar on the look and feel and the overall in-store shopping experience. This allowed capturing his mindshare and valetshare, databasing his profile and interest of the content and purchase made from iTunes. Apple owns the overall retail experience by having direct conversation with their present and potential customers. This data is invaluable for Apple as they think about future needs of their customer and how their products can help solve current and future problems for consumers. This has allowed Apple to leverage its product to be amongst the best in the market and not lose its consumer easily by creating an Apple experience. Let us undertake an opening case, a case of Apple strategizing elements of the apple pie apple has had differentiation since day one apple makes extremely good hardware because they believe they are the only one who can make hardware worthy to run their software steve jobs has been found quoting alan k of xerox when he says people who are serious about great software need to also be serious about great hardware. This is why at its core, Apple is a software company that makes specific hardware decisions in order to maximize the value for their software. Not only do they make a great operating system which sets them apart by itself, but Apple also creates extremely good core software, namely iLife. Apple is set apart from its competitor by its combination of hardware and software. By the content gatekeeper strategy embodied in iTunes and by their successful retail strategy. iTunes and digital asset management. Apple fundamentally understand that it is not the one who owns the content who wins in the future, but he who holds the key to the content. This is why Apple has become not just a software company but also 
a digital asset management company. Apple announced at the event on September 9th, 2009, that they have the credit card account information of more than 100 million customers through iTunes. Only once a customer trusts a brand enough to set up an account and give credit card information on the assumption of future purchase, the consumer will consider the retail outlet first in making purchase. Apple retail strategy. People criticize Apple when they started to create their own retail stores, citing how companies tried and failed miserably at owning their own storefront. However, this has been one of the most brilliant moves they made. Historically, Apple has been very careful about how people buy their product. Apple authorized retailers were small shops that carried all of Apple's product and accessories and provided an outlet for sport and repair. By learning the importance of controlling the retail experience and providing valuable customer service and interaction, Apple invested heavily in controlling their own retail experience. Even though they do sell at big box retailers, it is still the Apple store that the consumer prefers. Location plays a significant role in this as well. The fact that they are in malls help because customers are already in shopping mode. The location premise also plays well into Apple's sport strategy. The fact that the consumer can go in and get sport or repair for their products and then get some other shopping done while they wait is a bonus. While there is always room for improvement in Apple stores, they have assembled a strong team, experiment heavily and listen to the customers. Now let us look upon the key features of strategic information system. The key feature that comprise strategic information system can be stated as the decision support system that enables to develop a strategic approach to align information system or information technology with an organization business strategy. Next, that is the enterprise resource planning solutions that integrate link the business processes to meet the enterprise objectives for optimization of the enterprise resources. There is the database systems with the data mining capabilities to make the best use of available corporate information for marketing, production, promotion, and innovation. And lastly, the real-time information systems that intend to manage a rapid response system and quality indicators as per an agreed service restoration window. So let us now understand that the how the organization uses information systems to achieve competitive advantage. Prima facie, it is essential to understand why do we need information system in any organization. The basic need can be stated in the simplest of the words that the need for automation helps in doing things faster. It further enhances organizational learning by doing things better. Information systems provide strategic advantage as a sporting tool for doing things smarter. Automation helps in faster processing of data, yielding useful information by mechanization of a manual process that ensures great accuracy and consistency. To exemplify the system, processing of loan application using a technology supported process that automates the system using single window data entry to fill in relevant details of an applicant greatly reduce the time taken for enrollment of application. Going beyond automation, organization learning is enhanced by a better understanding to improve day-to-day -day activities within a process by analyzing trends and patterns. By imbibing management best practices like total quality management, the processes can be monitored, improved processes, products and services. Management information system act as an enabler of creating a vision to set 
the direction for a strategy creating performance oriented targets and creating a strategy to reach a goal so now let us look upon the information system strategies for dealing with competitive forces the low cost leadership strategy aiming at suppliers to find ways to help customer reduce their cost a firm achieves cost leadership in its industry by thrifty buying practices efficient business processes forcing up the prices paid by the competitor and helping customer or suppliers reduce their cost one of the strengths that separates dell from other companies is customer intimacy dell allows customer to personalize and design the laptop they want this enables dell to improve a laptop to each user at the capability performance and affordability they need direct shipping of the product through dell helped them get rid of channel partners and retailers with resulted in customer owning a laptop that fit their budget the second is the differentiation strategy offer different product services or product features by offering different better product companies can charge higher price sell more products or both apple created the ipod a unique portable digital music player and a unique online music service where songs could be purchased for 69 cents to 1.29 dollars each manufacturer and the retailers are using information system to create product and service customize or tailor made to fit the precise specification of individual customers let us now talk about another strategy for achieving competitive advantage focus on market niche use information system to enable a specific market focus and serve this narrow target market much better than competitors information system supports this strategy by producing and analyzing data for finely tuned sales and marketing techniques data is pooled from sources such as customer past purchases demographic data credit card transaction checkout counter scanners and when people interact with websites software tool analysis pattern and infer rules to guide decision making fern and patel captured the untapped flower market through its unique business model by providing the vistor best online gifting solution after trying some seos activities initially fern and patel engaged round arc in their search engine optimization strategy to boost traffic increase engagement and grow business with improved return on investment round arc is a reputed digital marketing agency preferred by both the corporate giants as well as the startups to explore the business opportunity available in the digital world round arc focuses on drawing the perception into reality with clients giving them an assurance of effective digital business strategies to upgrade their growth rate in the market the strategies adopted evolve around the customer needs and research and how it can be delivered to the customer for their satisfactory and influential experience the digital strategies work back end and carry out the research to analyze all the details about the potent customers their products and their brands such a comprehensive research helps them to design complete digital strategy that works best for the customer further a clear and concise plan is shaped to project the business so as to make a powerful impact online then we talk about innovation develop products and services using computer data new and appreciably different from other available offering example of these are emv europe mastercard and visa credit and debit cards smart cards embedded with a chip for user authentication automatic credit card handling at service station and automatic teller machine at banks 
such innovation approaches not only gives a new opportunities to attract customers but also open up entirely new fields of business so that their use has very elastic demand the next level of the strategy that is to strengthen customers and suppliers intimacy information system to tighten linkages with the suppliers and develop intimacy with the customer amazon.com kept track of user preference for books and cd purchase and can recommend title purchased by others to customer strong linkage to suppliers and customer help increase switching cost now let us look upon the michael potter's competitive post model according to michael potter a firm can survive and succeed in the long run if it successfully develops strategies to confront the five competitive forces that shape the structure of competition in its industry these forces essentially shape the fate of the firm these include the very first force that is rivalry of the competitor within its industry all firms share market space with other competitors continuously devising newer ways to expand the portfolio of products and services the motive is to attract customer by developing brands and increasing the switching cost to capitalize on stickiness and loyalty around the brand the second force that is the threat of new entrant in a free economy with mobile labor and financial resources new companies are entering the marketplace in some industry there are very low barriers to entry while in some entry is difficult it is easier to open an eatery than enter a business of manufacturing smart cards that could need technical expertise and knowledge in the specific domain threat of substitute is yet another force some marketers are highly price sensitive and customers have a tendency to switch if prices becomes too high near technologies create new substitute all the time more the number of substitute in the industry less you can control pricing and low profit margins an online digital library of ebook and web resources is a substitute to buying hard copy books from a bookshop bargaining power of customers a profitable company depends in large measures on its ability to attract and retain customers and charge high prices a customer becomes more powerful if they are easily available to switch to competitors product the last and the fifth force is the bargaining power of supplier the market power of suppliers can impact a firm's profit when the firm cannot raise prices as fast as supplier more the number of suppliers give the leverage to the firm exercise more control over the suppliers in terms of price quality quantity and delivery schedules now let us look upon yet another model that is the value chain concept a value chain is the whole series of activities that create and build value at every step the total value delivered by the company is the sum total of the value built up all throughout the company we look upon the primary activities the value chain analysis describe the activities within and around an organization and relates them to an analysis of the competitive strength of the organization therefore it evaluates which value each particular activity adds to the organization products or service these activities includes inbound logistic outbound logistic operations sales and marketing and services inbound logistic include receiving and storing material for distribution operations transport input to finished products outbound logistics includes storing and distributing finished products sport activities they make delivery of primary activities possible and consist of organization infrastructure that is the administrative and management 
the human resources, technology, and procurement. Benchmarking, it involves comparing the efficiency and effectiveness of your business processes against strict standards and measuring performance against those standards. And looking upon the industry best practices, they are identified by consulting companies, research organization, government agencies, and industry association as most useful solution or problem solving methods for consistently and effectively achieving business objectives. Information technology has made it possible to create high synchronized industry value chain called value web webs. Let us look at the synergies, core competency and network based strategy. The very first the synergies when output of one unit can be used as input to the other unit or two organization pool markets and expertise. This helps in expanding the geography and forms tie up in rural services with high end change of its own financial services. Information services could help the merged companies in pooling and resources and consolidate operations and lower retailing cost and increase cross marketing of financial products. The two firms combined may be able to achieve higher profitability than either firm could achieve on its own. Apple leveraged on the sales and distribution network of global giant Brightstar in India for pan-India logistics and customer support. Enhancing core competency is yet another strategy. A core competency is an activity for which a firm is a world-class leader. It relies on knowledge gained over many years of practical field experience with a technology. The practical knowledge is supplemented with long-term research efforts and committed employees. For example, Airtel focuses on its core competency of sales and promotion and vendor management. The leading telecom giant has its IT outsource to IBM, finance and audit outsource to companies like KPMG, Wipro, and network planning to Nokia and Ericsson. Then we talk about is the network-based strategy. The availability of the internet and networking technology has inspired strategies that take advantage of the firm's abilities to create networks. These strategies use network economics, a virtual company model, and business economics. A network economics provide strategic benefits to commercial software vendors. The value of their software and complementary software product increases as more people use them and there is a large installed base to justify continued use of product and vendor support. So now let us talk about that how the companies leverage information system for competitive advantage. First, we talk about the virtual company model. A virtual company uses networks to link people, assets, and ideas, enabling it to ally with other companies to create and distribute product and services without being limited by traditional boundaries or physical location. This model is very useful when a company finds it's cheaper to acquire products, services, or capabilities from an external vendor or needs to move quickly to exploit new market opportunity. Business strategies of virtual companies include sharing infrastructure and risk. Next, that is linking complementary core competencies, reduce concept to cash time through sharing, increasing facility and market coverage, gaining access to new markets and sharing market or customer loyalty and lastly migrating from selling products to selling solutions augmented reality where the virtual world meets the real world augmented reality is a concept where real world elements are mixed with the virtual videos audios or text one of the software is called virtual mirror 
lens card the company sells eyewear online and lets you virtually try on different frames when you visit the lens card website you will see the kind of catalogs you see on any e-commerce site here you can click on the try online button next to every frame now you can either upload or save photo from the computer or use the webcam to take a picture and then see how the frame looks on your face you can swap out frames and check out different looks to figure out what looks good on your face without having to go to a store okay friends now let us try to understand the knowledge creating companies what are these companies all about sustainability for many it enabled companies today can only be there if they become knowledge creating companies or learning organizations their goal is to create new business knowledge disseminate it widely throughout the company and quickly build the new knowledge into their product and services knowledge creating company exploit two kind of technology the exploited explicit knowledge pertaining to data documents things written down or stored on computer whereas the tacit knowledge implies how tools of knowledge which resides in workers mind successful knowledge management creates techniques technologies and rewards for getting employees to share what they know and to make better use of accumulated workplace knowledge knowledge management has become one of the major strategic uses of information technology many companies are building knowledge management systems to manage organizational learning and business know how the goal of knowledge management systems is to help knowledge worker create organize and make available important business knowledge wherever and whenever it is needed in an organization this includes processes procedures patterns reference works formulas best practices forecasts and fixes internet and intranet websites data mining knowledge bases discussion forums and video conferencing are some of the key information technology for gathering storing and distributing these this knowledge project e sampark in the city of chandigarh is a department of it initiative for the development integration and maintenance of a web portal for various departments of administration for providing one stop shop for 16 g2c services through eight e sampark centers the vision behind the project e sampark is to create a knowledge based society through intensive use of information technology as a medium for effective interaction between the administration and the public so that exchange of information and access to government department is speedy and easy leading to a better quality of life the objective of this project are to provide hassle free one stop solution to citizen then is minimize multiple interaction point for the citizen and hence reduce wastage of their valuable time provide better turn around time in receipt processing and issue of service and to bring in transparency and delivery of service let's try to understand the concept of agile companies agility in competitive performance is the ability of a business to prosper in rapidly changing continually fragmenting global market for high quality high performance customer configured products and services an agile company can make a profit in markets with broad product range and short model lifetimes it processes orders in an arbitrary lot sizes and offer individualized product while maintaining high volume of production agile companies depend heavily on information technology 
to enrich its customer with customized solution to their needs. Mass customization and cooperate with other business businesses to bring product to market as rapidly and cost effectively as possible. So students, let's now summarize what we have learned in this module. Strategic information systems often change the organization as well as the product and service portfolio, operating procedures, driving the organization to newer behavioral patterns. Successfully mitigating with the information system platform requires integration of technology, organizations, and management. It is inevitable to note that while adopting various kinds of strategic systems, organizations need to change business goals, relationships with the existing customer and suppliers and business processes. It is the duty of the managers and the management to ensure smooth transaction of these social technical transitions by roping in experts and coordinating the activities while assessing the risk involved. Thank you.